everyone. I'm so glad you're here. We are going to make this adorable double slider card. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this double slider card using the cute little chickens. So that's the way you pull it up from the top and then the double sliders slide out. Isn't that cute? All right, so let me give you all the measurements. Okay, so we're using the Mango Melody and this is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and you're going to score it at five and a half. And then you're going to need another piece of Mango Melody. This piece is cut at, let me grab it here. This piece is cut at two and a quarter by three and a half. And then a piece of basic white, which is cut at two by three and a quarter. Then we're using the Daffodil Delight. You're going to need two pieces cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. And then two pieces cut at one by two. And then you're going to need two more pieces of basic white. And these are both cut at three by four and a quarter. And they're going to layer for the front and then also for the back slider piece. Okay. All right. And then we're also going to be using the cute little ice cream corner sprinkles. This is on the front of my card. Hopefully you've seen that. Okay. All right. And then I went ahead and colored and stamped and also die cut out all the three chickens. Let me show you those stamp sets. Okay. So here's the Hey Birthday Chick. This is in the January through June mini catalog right now. And then the Hey Chick, which is the one that we brought back from Celebration back from 2017. And these both have a die. Let me show you those. So this is the Birthday Chick dies. These go with the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. And then the Chick dies. These go with the Hey Chick stamp set. And then you can purchase these in a bundle and save 10%. Okay, so first let's grab our two pieces here. I seen this tip from my friend Linda Heller and it was awesome. So I'm totally casing your card, Linda. Thank you, but I'm just changing it up. <laughs> I'm going to grab a pencil and this is going to be the way the slider part is going to open up the top here. So we're going to have the opening actually at the top. So we're going to take our two pieces of our daffodil. Nobody's going to even see these pieces. They can just be scrap. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the center. And I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to take the same piece and I'm going to put this down at the bottom section and also draw a line. So this is going to be the guide for our punch to make our track of our card. So let me grab our classic label punch. Okay, so this is the classic label punch. We're going to punch just the front of our mango melody. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide the punch in all the way, all the way in. And then we're going to take that right up to that point of where we drew that line and we're going to punch. Then you're going to slide it down also with the punch all the way in and then line that up with that second line that we made at the bottom and punch that out. Okay, so we're going to flip this over and do the exact same thing on this side. Punch it right below that pencil line. Slide it down. Line that up. Just like that. Okay, so there's our track. Now we're going to take these two pieces and we're going to put them on top of each other, but we're going to put one on the inside and then one on the front. Okay, so let me grab some dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to take my take your pick tool and we're using the mini dimensionals. These fit really nice inside of the track. So I'm just going to take my first piece of the daffodil, set it right behind there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my mini dimensional and grab another dimensional. Put that on the other track, just like that. Okay, and we're going to peel off the backings. Then we're going to take our second piece of the daffodil that's one by two. And we're going to set that right over top of that dimensional, well, dimensionals. Okay, and then this is going to make your track. So you can see how that's going to slide there, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take our two pieces for the slider. This is going to be our basic white and our daffodil. We're going to go ahead and attach, I guess, all our layers, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let me grab my stamp and seal. Okay, so we have our three pieces. This one is going to go on the front to cover up the track. 
You're going to have the second piece that's going to slide outside of the inside part. And then you have your second slider, which is going to hide underneath the front panel. Okay. But before we add our slider part, we're going to take our two inch punch and we're going to punch a little finger hole. So we know to pull that ribbon or whatever you're going to add for your pull. I'm going to close this. You can actually take your pencil if you want, or you could actually punch both layers. I just know I can't do that. This hurts my hands. So then this is going to make your little area to put your ribbon to pull your double slider. Okay, so for the back piece here, we're going to put the slider part all the way down into the card. Because remember, this is the top section. I put some stamp and seal on this slider part here. Remember, you're going to push this all the way down. I'm going to put some adhesive on this little panel here. And then you're going to line this up at the edge of where we, whoop, we don't want that to stick yet. <laughs> We're going to put this right up at the edge, just like that. And then push this down and we're going to seal it down just like that. So it's going to grab that section back there just like that. Okay. And then for our second slider part, you're going to open up the slider part. Have this section all the way up at the top this time. We're going to put our adhesive on this section. And we're going to put our slider part when the card is actually opened. Make sure that part's straight, just like that. And I'm going to put this right on the edge, just right there, just like that. Okay? And then it's going to slide open just like this. Isn't that cute? Can you see it coming together? Isn't it adorable? So now we're going to take our tear and tape. Let me grab that. Okay, so we're going to take our tear and tape and we're going to put this right on the edge of our Mango Melody. This is going to seal up our little slider card. Put it as close as you can to the edge because you don't want this to interfere with the sliding mechanism. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and take our take your pick tool again. Pull that backing off. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and slide the card inside of the panel and then making sure there's nothing interfering with the panel so it slides out properly and then seal that down. Then your card should slide perfectly just like that. Okay. But before we add this panel to the front, we're going to do some stamping. So let me grab my stamps. Okay, so we're going to open up the card. I'm going to stamp our greetings first. And then we'll add our chickens and everything second. Okay, so let me grab my Memento ink. I'm going to stamp the happy birthday right across the top. Stamp that right about here. And then we're going to stamp, have a happy day. Hopefully I can squeeze that in there. Let me bring this a little bit closer to me so I can see. Yeah, right about there looks good. Okay, then the second stamp we're going to use is your little spring chicken. Let me make sure this is stamping straight. Yep, looks pretty good. We're going to stamp this right up at the top of the second pullout. And then on the front layer, we're going to stamp, let's celebrate you. Stamp it right up here in the top right corner, just like that. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put this layer onto the front now. So I'm going to grab my mini Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm going to put one little mini dimensional in each of the corners. You don't want to interfere with your sliding part of the second part of the double slider. So you want to put them as close to the outside edge so you have enough room for that slider to move on the inside part. Okay? So we're going to put this over top of this section right here. Right on the front to cover up the track 
and also that second slider. Making sure everything is straight, like right here. That looks pretty good. All right, then we're going to take our top piece. I'm going to put that right over top. So nobody will ever know that that's underneath there. And then when you pull it, it pops out. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put dimensionals on these two chickens. And then on the baby chick, I'm just going to put the stamp and seal on that. And you want to make sure you cover him really good so nothing gets caught in the sliding part of this card. So we're going to slide this out. And I'm going to put my little chicken right over here. <laughs> so cute. And then we're going to pop these chickens up on dimensionals. I'm going to take the other. This is the chicken with the cute little hair. Put him right here. Then we're going to take those ice cream sprinkles. And the easiest way to do this is what I found is to take your liquid glue first and dot your spots where you want to add the little sprinkles all over the front. Put one right here. Isn't it cute? And then you can take your take your pick tool, which I have right here. I'm going to squeeze that down a little bit. And then on the one end you can have a putty so you can pick up the sprinkle and then just set it down into the glue. And there's like different colors in here. There's that Highland Heather, the yellow, the red, and then there's a Costa Cabana color. So we want to put a whole bunch of different colors all over. Isn't that cute? And then one other thing that I did do is I added a little grounding for my chickens up on the top and this one. So let me show you the finished one here. So I added a little bit of a little smudge of the Crumb Cake Stampin' Blends. So that's what I did for that. And then you can also add a ribbon that will tell the receiver to pull that when they get the card in the mail. They can pull that ribbon. But I'm just going to leave mine just like that. I feel like they know to pull that since there's like a little hole there. So I'll just leave that up to you, whatever you want to do. If you want to add the ribbon or just keep it plain like mine. So you can add, I added two staples actually, so I crisscrossed it so it would grab the ribbon really nicely. So cute. I love this card. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. I have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.